and the success of the Black Star securing a ticket to the World Cup continued to reverberate across the entire country, especially in the Jubilee House when the team paid a visit to the president on Wednesday night after arriving from Abuja, where the president has made a special commitment to the team and has asked the Ghana Football Association to maintain the technical team for the Qatar World Cup. And the former captain of the Black Star, Stephen Apia, has also been speaking. He's been praising the boys, and there were also Ghana Premier League matches where Accra House of Oak were held to a zero all stalemate. And their head coach, Samuel Boydou, has been speaking. We've got these and many more here on AM Sports with me, Muftar Nabila Abda. But we'll start with Jubilee House, where President Ekufuado has urged the Ghana Football Association to maintain the current technical team of the Black Stars, led by Otto Ado, after they defeated Nigeria over two legs to book their place in the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Nana, who was speaking when the team paid a courtesy call on him at a Jubilee House, said, uh, to Kroko and his team should ensure that there is proper investment in ensuring that Ghana has a good performance in the World Cup. There's more in this report by my colleague, Benai Elom. The Black Stars arrived in an open top bus at the Jubilee House on Wednesday, March 30. The team was at the seat of government on the invitation of President Nana Kufuadu after beating Nigeria to Qatar 2022 tickets. The Black Stars returned to Accra on Wednesday dawn after their gallant performance against Nigeria in Abuja. Upon their return, President Kufuadu invited the team to the Jubilee House on Wednesday afternoon to acknowledge their efforts. Speaking at the gathering, President of the Ghana Football Association, Keto Kreku, thanked the president for his support and promised that the team will make an impression in Qatar. On behalf of the football fraternity, we thank you so much for the support, we thank you for the belief, we thank you for the investment you're making, and we believe that this victory will be the needed impetus for you to even invest more in domestic football. And I know that this is nothing for the showboy. <laughs> to my colleagues in the media, yes, you've been there for us. You've supported us all the way. I'm grateful for all the support, but this is just the beginning. Qatar is the next stop and we will go to Qatar and make an impression like we've never done. Head coach of the national team, Otoado, says he is happy to lead Ghana to a fourth World Cup appearance. It's a great, great honor for us to be here. Um, it's For me, it's even yeah, very, very special. Uh, more special than the game yesterday because uh, we were not really prepared, or I'm not really prepared. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Kreku, for your kind words. Uh, a little bit too much, I think, but it's okay. <laughs> I take it. Um, I won't make it long. I think uh, enough is said. Um, surely everybody's happy. Uh, we qualified for the World Cup. This was our aim. And um, yeah, we're looking forward for it. Ekufuado urged the GFA to confirm the appointment of the Uto Adu led technical team following their success in Abuja. I'm hoping. And the technical team that has been put together for these two matches will at least take us through the World Cup itself. <laughs> I told the coach, the head coach, that he ought to be careful when he came to Ghana. He might likely be kidnapped here. <laughs> I will make it difficult for him to go back to, Holla, to, to Germany and to Dortmund. That we want him here. But I would, I would uh, Mr. Okriku, uh, whatever you can do to make sure that the team stays uh, together, at least until Qatar. Then afterwards, we can take the long-term decisions. The reason is that a situation whereby Arsenal, Tottenham, and everybody is together in one arrangement. That's a formidable uh, <laughs> arrangement. Tottenham is very well represented here, both here and here. <laughs> and oh yes, 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 the vice president. The vice president is also a strong supporter of the cockerel of, of, of Spurs. So. 
let's keep together. And the, the hunger, the desire, the determination that we saw in Kumasi, that we saw again yesterday, keep together. And out of it, I know something even greater is in the future for us. Ghana will know their group openings on Friday, April 1, when the draw takes place in Doha, Qatar. It will be interesting to see what the GFA president and his executive council will do following the comments from the president because Otto Addo's agreement expires today. The agreement he had with the Ghana Football Association was for two months, February and March, paid $15,000, $30,000 for the two marches. Would they maintain him after the president have asked them to do so? Well, only time would tell. But we are expecting an announcement of Chris Hilton as the head coach of the Black Stars.